one. Now, can I ask honestly, grade six and seven, who is using a chi? Be honest. If you're not, you don't know, or yes. Okay. Okay, that's your hand. That's fine. Uh, what do you guys think, Rodwan? Yes? No. Yes? Okay, it's totally fine. I know um, I've talked to quite a few middle school six and sevens and they're struggling with the chief. So I'll take you through. But it's really easy. And it's set up really cool, because you guys are cool kids, for you guys to navigate. And it looks very much very friendly and very um, early adapted for like middle school. And so this is the reading tool, pretty much. When you log on here, it has tons of cool articles. So if they, uh, you know, never allow them on social media, if they want to scroll, see what's hip, what's hot, what's cool, Right here. There's tons of cool articles, things that are going on in the world. It's a lot of nonfiction, a lot of um, different events, uh, not political, but different world events. And it's telling them what's going on. They can read articles about it. They can answer questions about it. It's a great, great tool. So they can go in, pick what they want. There's news. So there's different news that's going on. A Hawaiian hero, different things going on. And then there's lessons. So how it work? is they would, one, it's going to be a science. So starting in term two, Mr. Hamza will do assignments for reading. But what we do is when we talk to the Achieve 2000 people, they need to do at least two lessons a week in order to improve their lexile. Two lessons a week. That means every lesson has five steps. If they do two five-step lessons a week, they're going to progress in their reading lexile. That's your goal. Let's say I'm interested in the good, the bad, and the ugly. I can do a five-step lesson. And so what it does is it breaks it down for them, similar to the other platforms where it's an introduction, content, quiz. So I want everyone on my six and seven, I want you to log on to your team, and I want you to pick. Uh, pick an article that interests you. What are you interested in? Now, Achieve 3000 is phenomenal for independence. It gives your student everything that they need. Now, grade five students, I appreciate you guys, you guys for staying. There are some grade five students that I will talk to privately that their reading level is so high that they're no longer, RAS is too easy for them. That's why this is a harder reading level six and seven. Some of you guys will be access, you'll get access to in term two, Achieve 3000. So just as a heads up, if you want to stay, look and see what's going on. So, Start it off. It's going to give you a topic. Now, let's say I'm Jude, or I'm Kezia, and I want to read this. But let's say I'm, I know Kezia's too smart. She's a high achiever. But I want to read the same article because I saw Kezia reading it, but I'm not a high achiever. I'm a low achiever. So when I log on, I have access to the same article, but it's at their level. So they get to read the same articles with each other, but it's just at their specific reading level. When they log on, off the bat, it tells you the vocabulary. It introduces new vocabulary to them. When you come down here, this is the five-step process. They have the before the reading tool it helps engage them in what's going on, ask them a few questions. It gives you the article. Like I said, when I log on, when Kezia log on, it may be the same article, but it's going to be differentiated based on their specific level. They read it, then they can go to the activity. In the activity, it has multiple choice questions that they can answer, and it gives them the score. There's also an after reading poll. Now, there's quite a few things here that they can do. They don't have to do it all. What I encourage is the article, the activity, and the thought question. After reading poll and thought question. The thought question, it's not just A, B, C, D. It's a critical thinking question, and it's saying, did your student understand what they were reading? Um, there's also cross-curricular links. Let's say you want them to focus a little bit more on the article. They can go into math. And as you see, it goes on. So when your daughter or son says they're bored, or can they do, are they allowed to be bored? There's so much for them to do. <laughs> so they can log on and they have tons of stuff. Achieve 3000, like I said, you log on, you do two reading lessons a week with the five step progress, they're gonna make progress in their lifestyle. So all my students were logged on. Did you find an article you liked? Did you click on it? Did everyone click on it? Six, seven? Five, one, did you find an article you liked? Did everyone see the vocabulary pop up for the article? Okay. Can you find the before reading poll for the article? It's asking you, do you agree with this? There's an overall thought for the, for the article. Do you agree with that? Because you may not. And it's healthy to have different opinions. 
So you do your poll, can you answer your poll question? And then when you're done with your poll question, can you go to your article? Are we all on the same page? If you are, can you give me a thumbs up? If you need more time, can you go sideways for me? I'll give you a couple more seconds, okay? If you're already done with that, you can go on. I want you to explore these tabs. When you finish the activity uh, article, can you go to the activity and answer those questions? Are you having trouble with any of the questions? This is something that they can do at home independently. Uh, when you get to the side and you scroll up, they can highlight Someone said something about taking notes. Where do they take notes? They can highlight, they can write, they can record themselves, they can make comments. So if, let's say they did it, you come home, you say, hey, how was the article? They can go back and they can reference their notes and they can say, I actually was really confused on this word or this. And remember, if you have any questions from home, you can take them to your teacher the next day. Great. Last thing is at the top, your teacher can message you. So you might have messages coming through here. Up here, it tells you your points. Every time you do something, you rack up points similar to RAS. And then activities. Remember, we said we want two activities a week. It's going to tell you how far you are in achievement. Now, we appreciate you guys for waiting. It's a lot of information. We've got a lot of amazing e-learning tools. A lot of information. Does anyone have any questions? I think we've gone over quite a bit. Well, we just want to thank you so much. So much. Yeah, we thank you for coming, taking time out of your day. We know you're busy, you have tons of things to do, but taking time really shows you care. We are here 24 seven. We have IT support you can email. And like I said, if you ever have a question with e-learning or platforms or anything, you can schedule an appointment to meet with us or with IT. Um, thank you guys for coming. Give yourself a hand. <laughs>